Welcome! Today I'm relearning how to play Shadow of Mortar while Deanna gets lazy on the couch! We have some games that are shining to gray. Thank you, 21st century, because now you're watching this way. Some things never come to the unless Start? No, this is a, a small campaign that you get to play in Shadow of Mordor, where you're not the main character. You're just it's just like a little DLC kind of thing. So it's actually a good place to just like bum around in. Mm -hmm. I haven't played this game for quite a while. I love the crap out of this game, but I'm also shit at it. <laughs> So I I have like put the cheats on so that I couldn't die as easily and stuff like that before, just so that I could make some progress without having to like grind the shit, right? And like barely do two steps. Plus the nemesis system, which is what everyone loves about this game, which is when you like when someone defeats you, they move up in the orc army rank, and as a result of that, uh, they they keep. Every time they, they kill you, they become more and more your nemesis, and they gain glory and stuff, yeah. and they also show up a lot more. Like, you could just be bumming around in a completely different part of town where they're not supposed to be, mm -hmm. and they just show up. That is really neato. Mm -hmm. But it was also very annoying, because this one guy kept going up the ranks, because I don't kill him properly. So who are you in the game normally? Uh, you're normal. You're a guy who's possessed by this guy. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But I I don't remember any of the moves. Fair enough. Uh, except block is very important. If you don't block. They get real, like, you die real fast. And that's one reason why I didn't do very well in this game. <laughs> like because I'm kick. I'm not a big blocker. Yeah. I'm a terrible... I prefer to be on the offense. The best offense is a good defense. Nope, the best defense is a good offense. Okay, this is making them turn into my guy. What? Yeah, so that's the thing that we can do, because we've got the one ring. I think we have the one ring on right now? Like, like the ring? Yeah. Like the Lord of the Rings ring? I think so, or we have one of the elf's rings. Oh, okay. I'm not sure which one. We kind of missed the cinematic at the start. Yeah, sorry I wasn't watching very closely. Okay. Hold and protection. Oh, I like how he's going through all of this. Like, this is my first rodeo, but I forgot it all too. Uh, yeah, shoot it's... more powerful arrow. Where Where are these people at? Where are these bad guys at? I don't see them. Oh, they're over this way. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's sneak. This is run. Sneak attack. Now you can climb up certain things. Uh, I love that. That is neat. And then you just like climb up on buildings and like shoot down at like, people. Yeah, no biggie. I'm just gonna do all these super agile elf things. Well, I mean, the other guy is a human and he can do this too. What? Yeah. That hardly seems right. What? And, and you can just like swan Whoa. dive. No doubt. What? Oh, just, what just happened? We just turned him into a minion. But how'd you get up there so quick? Okay, I want this I guy too. Yourself out of the you. Arrow. Yeah. <laughs> you can I use the arrow to do it. Now he'll ah. fight for me. They're not being very good at it though. Oh wait, that's my that guy. Your guy. Yes, it is. <laughs> Press R with the charge hit streak. Oh, okay. Get him! Get him! 
Oh, and you have to do different things with different guys. Like you can't just be like yeah, yeah. Like you have to break this guy's with the space bar and flip around him and then attack his Jesus. behind. Oh shoot! So like they're like a set kind of guy, and that's the move you always have to use on that kind of guy. Yeah, which is nice, I guess. But still, you have but to memorize them. I'm getting hit with arrows and I'm dying. Oh no. Do you remember what I was? Oh, that's my guy. I need to go. You! Uh oh. This guy's a big guy. Oh no. You're flashing red! Crap. Can you drink a health potion? Um, no, I can't actually. I can drink a, a health herb. No, I'm dead. He did. I say you, he did. Oh. <laughs> uh, mission failed. Reason you died. Well, I mean, this is a good one to try your to remember what you're doing again. Yeah. On, you really can't just go in like I did, like balls to the wall. <laughs> That's, gotta have some finesse. Yeah, there's something called finesse, and it's sort of important. Uh, I don't know. Vanessa's for people without strength. And yeah, and then there's like optional directions of like avoiding, avoiding detection. Okay, wait, no. I don't, I don't want you to see me, dude. Sneak attack. Are you, is this guy, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Gotcha. On the gotcha. Do the other guys not attack you while you burn them? Um. Should have waited your turn. Now everyone is up in arms. They know. They definitely. Know. <laughs> I gotta run away. Run, not Legolas. <laughs> Hold E to drain. Is this like a prequel kind of? Uh, yes, it's all a prequel. So it's a whole adventure before uh, the actual Lord of the Rings thing. Oh, I thought maybe. Is it even a prequel to The Hobbit? Uh, Hard to say, because I guess. I have no idea. The Hobbit was kind of only partially related to the Lord of the Rings. Um, as far as the Mordor stuff went. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, The Hobbit is a completely different thing. I didn't even know that until uh, it came out and it was just, it had nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings except Bilbo Baggins and Gandalf were in it. Yeah. Like, like, in The Hobbit, Gandalf figures out that uh, Sauron is coming back. But that's about it, other than Bilbo finding the ring, right? Like, there's really nothing else. Ooh, crap. Not your mind. Nice job. Oops. Stop that. It okay. Guy. Yeah, I did. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me again. There. That's that's that guy's mine now. That's and we go up here and we just like check some shit out. Where's they're all down up there? On the guard tower. I need arrows. I ran out of arrows. Oh. That's a pickle. Yeah, a bit of a pickle. So this weekend when we were, um, we stayed in town for the ball tournament, my sister and I. Mm-hmm. Um, I bought, I went to the grocery store and got some food to keep in the trailer. You, like, there was a concession, but I just wanted some stuff in the trailer. Mm-hmm. And so I bought bread and sandwich meat and cheese and lettuce. And I even bought a thing of mayo. Right. So then I was like, perfect, we'll have things for sandwiches. And I bring it to the trailer and she's like, didn't you get pickles? I'm like, 
what are you talking about? And she was like so upset that I didn't buy her pickles to put on her sandwich. She went to the store and bought herself a pickle. Well, actually, she had a brother go to the store when he was downtown and buy pickles. <laughs> and I, was like, I mean, I understand. I love pickles. Like, I get it, but to buy an entire jar of pickles for one weekend just because you don't want a sandwich without pickles seemed a little... I'm like, wow. I guess you really... <laughs> They're really necessary, Deanna. I guess. I mean, I don't know. You can't really take your word for it because your family loves pickles. We love the shit out of pickles. Do you know what? Oh, this is so exciting, you guys. My mom, for the first time in my entire life, has went and made homemade pickles from scratch. Yeah, and it is like the most exciting thing that she has ever cooked for us in Would my she? entire life. <laughs> like it is so, like she has never made homemade pickles. We yeah. love the crap out of homemade pickles and she has never made them. Wow, where'd she get um, cucumbers? Uh, she bought them at the farmer's market. Oh nice. Yeah, we don't garden. So what possessed her to do that this year? Uh, I have no idea what the reasoning behind it is. Uh, she just decided to do it, and I'm so excited. Like, we made, like, some refrigerator pickles with some leftover bits and stuff. Oh, yeah. They're delicious. Right. So we're just, like... So that's what I'm really looking forward to in a couple of weeks is uh, eating some pickles. That's good. I um, pickled beans this year. I've never done... Actually, that's not true. I have done beans before. But the recipe I had wasn't very good. Yeah. But so, yeah, I'm excited for pickled beans. Yeah, I'm not a big pickle, pretty much anything else, and I'm not really that into it. No? No, nope, just cucumbers. And asparagus? Oh, yeah, I love pickled asparagus, especially for Caesars, yeah. like we have discussed before. Yeah. Um, I would really like to try pickling my own asparagus someday. You, you do good. <laughs> At first, I have to find some asparagus. I think the neighbor has some, but I'd have to go be social. Oh! Uh-oh. That is terrifying. I have been really half-assing it right now. <laughs> so this isn't good, guys. Back rack. That's Shadow of Mordor. I uh, really enjoy that game quite a bit, actually. Um, just a, a taste of what it is like. If you liked it, give it a like. If you uh, want Deanna to stop being lazy and laying on the couch, <laughs> Tell us in the comments, because she might just stay there for the rest of the playthroughs. Yay. She's a bit of a bum. I am a bum. <laughs> it's my life. Um, so Gina, what? if you had to be one of the, I don't know, species or whatever they're called from the Lord of the Rings, what would you be? Well, wouldn't you want to be an elf? I don't know. Because you get to live forever, pretty much, unless someone yeah. decides to murder you. Bleh. Bleh. Who wants immortality? What would you be? You have definitely probably thought of this question a lot more than I me. I actually haven't. What, you um, you enjoy Lord of the Rings so much that you weren't ever like, yeah, I'm totally a hobbit right now? No. Or? No, I, I know. Like, it's funny. I've watched those movies countless times. Reading the books. Read the books. Reading the books. Like... Never thought of it before, but I think maybe a dwarf, honestly. But I'd be a pretty dwarf because I know the dwarf women are typically not very. Have we seen any know, dwarf like, women in the movies? No, but they always describe them in like the books, and I think they do in the movies too. And they're like they're bearded and stuff. Really? Yeah, they say a lot of times you can't tell the difference between the men and the women. So I definitely. But okay. If the dwarf women have beards, mm -hmm. would that not make beards attractive to dwarf men? I mean, probably. Right? Yeah. So, it would just be, like, you'd never have to worry about, like, some upper lip peach fuzz or anything, or having a mustache as a woman. I, you I, just have I free... I worry about having a mustache quite often. You have free reign to just grow a luxurious beard. Yeah. That, that men will love because they're attracted to beards, right? I mean, I guess so. Because that's what their females have. Yeah. I don't know. I think that would be kind of fun. 
<laughs> to no shaving involved. Yeah, just grow a beard. Well, I mean, if you didn't shave your face, you wouldn't shave anything. It's free. Yeah. Free blow. <laughs> All of it. Let it all grow. Yeah. I don't know. Be interesting. Hmm. 